हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम वेलकम टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ रोबोमे स्टूडेंट्स आई होप सो यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग वेल फॉर योर बोर्ड एग्जाम्स यस आई कैन सी इन योर आईज यू आर वेरी ईगर फॉर द बोर्ड पेपर एंड यू माइट बी हैविंग सम क्वेश्चन लाइक वॉट आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट चैप्टर्स वॉट आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दैट यू हैव टू स्टडी वेर विल देर बी ऑप्शन इन द बोर्ड पेपर what about the difficulty of the paper all these questions you might be having to clear all your doubts today in this module we are going to discuss in detail about the board paper pattern and weightage of the chapters all your doubts will be clear now all right so can i start up with the module all right fine first students we are going to see the board paper pattern we are going to see the question paper design what is going to be the design of the paper all of you know total marks is 100 in which 70 marks is for theory and 30 marks is for practical all right first let us take a look at the practical all right what is going to happen in the practical examination practicals is for 30 marks 3 hours duration let us see the general flow all right first in practical you have to perform one long experiment all right time duration is 1 hour 30 minutes 10 marks next you have to perform one short experiment time duration is 45 minutes and 5 marks all right then you have to perform one activity time duration is 30 minutes and it is also for 5 marks are you clear and then you have to go for a viva viva session 15 minutes it's for 5 marks now you might be wondering sir what type of questions they will ask in viva don't worry students in viva the questions are based on the activities and the experiments that you have performed in the academic year all right whatever experiments and activities you have performed in the academic year based on that they will be asking questions in viva are you clear and then of course the last part is your certified journal which is for 5 marks so total is 30 marks and it is for 3 hours this is the flow of the practical examination are you understanding any questions right now let us go into detail first one long experiment it is for 10 marks so how the mark is distributed for what they give you this 10 marks all right so this is a mark distribution of long experiment you can see this is the mark distribution for diagram you get one mark for setting up the apparatus you get one mark for writing the formula with a proper explanation you are getting one mark for the performance with recording and observation you are getting three marks this is very important and for graph and calculation you are getting two marks and for result with proper units and conclusion you are getting two marks so total is 10 this is a mark distribution are you following what is going to happen under long experiment all right time duration is 1 hour 30 minutes did you understand students fine now let us move on to the next one that is short experiment this is time duration 45 minutes and it is for 5 marks so what you are going to do in this what is the mark distribution of this uh, short experiment you can see here for diagram you get one mark for performance with recording and observations you get 2 marks for graph and calculations you get 1 mark and for result with proper unit and conclusion you get 1 mark so this is the mark distribution total is 5 marks for one short experiment all right now students for the instructions that has to be followed for uh, long experiment and uh, short experiment please uh, refer your uh, bal bharati textbook there they have given the instructions regarding the long and short experiment so please refer it it's very very important All right I hope so you got a clear idea of the distribution of marks for long and short experiment all right then moving on to the next one this is your activity so one activity you are performing 30 minutes 5 marks so this is the mark distribution for performance with recording and observation you get 3 marks for write up of the activity you get 1 mark and for result with proper units and conclusion you get 1 mark that's all this is the mark distribution so students I hope so you got an idea very clear idea about the practical paper all right now moving on to the theory theory paper is 70 marks 3 hours this is very important so what is the mark distribution first you have section a which contains multiple choice questions and bsa very short answer question that is one mark question 18 marks for section a all right section b contains short answer question that is two mark questions 16 marks all right and then third you have section c again short answer but three marks total is 24 marks and then you have section d which is long answer question that is four mark question total is 12 marks all right now students if you see very carefully 
Section C is very, very important. By attempting section C, you are scoring 24 marks. Three more questions are very important. All right. So this is the general mark distribution of your theoretical paper. Are you following students? Now let us go into detail. Now you'll understand very clearly where there are options, where there is no option, what is the difficulty. So I'm moving on to the detail analysis. Paper pattern in detail. First, you have section A, which contains MCQs and VSA. It is for 18 marks. All right. Now, students in this, there are two sub questions. What? There are two sub questions. Question number one is nothing but your MCQ. There are 10 MCQs and uh, seven theory, three numericals, one mark each, total is 10 marks. All right. Now, the second sub question, question number two, is your VSA. Very short answer question. Six theory, two numerical, total you have eight questions. Each question one mark, so total eight marks. All right. So both the sub questions you add together, you're getting 18 marks. This is your section A. All right. All one mark questions. And here there are no options. Every question is compulsory. All right. So this is the mark distribution of section A. I hope so you're following. Fine. Now let us move on to the next one. Section B. Short answer question. That is two mark question. All right. Here you have seven theory, five numerical, two marks each. All right. So total you have 12 questions and you have to attempt only eight. Eight questions you have to attempt and total is 16 marks. So here you have an option. All right. Only eight you have to attempt. Now let us move on to the next one. Section C. All right. Again, short answer, but this is three mark. All right. And here if you see, there will be seven theoretical questions and five numerical, three marks each. All right. So total again, 12, but you need to attempt only eight. Here also you have option. Only eight questions you have to attempt. Are you understanding? So section B and section C, you have options. You have to attempt only eight. And this section is very important. Section C, 24 marks you are scoring. So you need to be very careful in this section. Are you clear students? Fine. Now let us move on to the next one. This is section D, which is a long answer question, four mark question, 12 marks. All right. So here you have total five questions. You have to attempt only three. Here also you have options. All right. Out of five, you need to attempt three. Each is four marks, so total 12 marks. And students, please note this point. Three questions must carry two marks theory and two mark numerical. So three questions will have two marks for theory and two marks for numerical. It will be combo question, three questions. All right. So total out of five, you need to attempt any three. So I hope so you are clear with the detailed mark distribution section wise. All right. So this is the revised uh, paper pattern for your board exam. Now we are going to go to the weightage types of question with weightage. All right. First of all, we have uh, something called as knowledge based question. All right. Knowledge based questions, 29 marks. All right. You will get total for 29 marks. That is 30% of the paper. And then you have understanding based question. That is your derivations, explanation. All these are understanding based questions. 49 marks. 50% of the paper is understanding based question. And then you have application and skill based. All right. Which is 20 marks and which is 20% of the paper. So students, you can see understanding based questions are more. All right. Derivations, explanations. Those are very, very important. So you need to focus on that understanding based questions. Are you clear? So this is the type of question with weightage. I hope so everyone understood this. Any doubts? All right. Now you can plan your studies. Now moving on to the next one. Difficulty of the question. If you see in the board examination paper, you're going to get easy questions for 29 marks. Now students, this is with optional. All right. Easy questions will be for 29 marks. That is 30% of the paper will be off easy questions. Then you have average questions, which will be for 49 marks. 50% of the paper is average question. All right. And then you have the difficult questions, which will be for 20 marks, which is just 20% of the paper. So nothing to worry. You have very less weightage for the difficult questions. So again, you can see your paper will contain majority average questions. So I hope so you got an idea what, how your paper is going to be. All right. You just need to target the average and easy question. You can score 50 plus 30. You're scoring 80, 80% you're scoring. All right. You just need to focus on the average and the easy questions. Are you clear? So this is the difficulty of the questions that are going to appear in your board examination paper. All right. Now, moving on further, whatever I told you, here I am showing you a sample paper. This is how your board paper looks. All right. This is a prelim paper that you must have appeared. See, all the prelim papers are very important. You need to go through them again. 
So whatever I discuss with you right now, you can see on the screen. This is how the board paper will look, sample board paper, all right? This is your prelim paper only. So I hope so everyone got a clear idea about the pa paper pattern that you're going to get. All right, fine. Now, since paper pattern is clear, now let us move on to weightage. Which chapters are very important? All right, now students, first, rotational dynamics chapter, five marks. All right, with option, it is seven marks. This is the weightage, all right? Then you have mechanical properties of fluids, five marks and seven marks with option. Then you have kinetic theory of gases and radiation, five marks and seven marks with option. Then thermodynamics, again, five marks and seven marks with option. All right, with option, it is seven marks. And then you have oscillations, which is for four marks. With option, it will be five marks. Then you have superposition of waves, which is four marks. With option, it is six marks. Then you have wave optics, five marks. With option, it is seven marks. Then you have electrostatics, four marks weightage. With option, six marks. And then you have current electricity. Again, four marks weightage. With option, it is six marks. Now, students, if you see here, all these chapters, rotational dynamics, mechanical properties of fluids, kinetic theory of gases and radiation, thermodynamics, and wave optics, all these topics are very important. So please first study these chapters thoroughly, all right? These chapters have high weightage, very, very important chapters, all right? So first you need to complete these chapters first, all right? Then if you go further, you have magnetic fields due to electric current. This is four mark weightage with option six marks. Then you have magnetic materials, four mark weightage with option five marks, all right? Then you have electromagnetic induction, five mark weightage with option seven marks. Then you have AC circuits, four mark weightage with option, six marks. And then you have dual nature of radiation and matter, four marks weightage with option, five marks. And then structure of atoms and nuclei, four marks weightage with option, six marks. And at last you have semiconductor devices, four marks weightage with option, it is five marks. Now students, if you notice here very carefully, electromagnetic induction is a very, very important chapter because you can see the weightage is more. All right, so this is the weightage chapter wise. All right, so this will help you in your preparation for the board exam. Whichever chapter is of more weightage, try to complete it first. All right, other chapters also you have to do, but these chapters try to complete it first. All right, so students, I hope so you're clear with this. Fine. Now, moving on further, time management. All right, many students have this problem. All right, they are not able to complete the paper on time. Time is the destroyer of the world. People are struggling. So I will just give you an idea about how to manage your time in your board examinations. All right. So first of all, when you get your paper, what do you do is first, you read the paper. Read means don't sit and read line by line. Just go through the paper. All right. You spend five minutes for it. All right. Five minutes for reading the paper. Then you start with section A, which contains MCQs and you have VSA also. For MCQs, you spend 20 minutes time. All right, section A MCQs, 20 minutes time. Then you go to section A, VSA questions, very short answer, one line question. All right, you spend 16 minutes time for this. All right, then you move on to section B, that is two more questions. You're going to attempt any eight question. You can spend 40 minutes for this. Next, we are moving on to section C. All right, students here, your three more questions are there. All right, you're going to attempt any eight. For this, you can spend 64 minutes. All right, these are three more questions. As I told you, section C is the major scoring section. So you can spend 64 minutes for section C. All right, then we move on to section D, which is long answer. All right, that is four more question. You're going to attempt any three. For this, you can spend 30 minutes. Are you clear? And then finally, you can keep five minutes for checking the paper. All right, so total, if you see, you are getting 180 minutes, which is nothing but three hours. I hope so this time management will help you. Students, try to practice it, all right? You can efficiently manage your time. And you can see section uh, C, you're going to spend lots of time because that is the heavyweight section, all right? Major mark is scored in section C. I hope so this uh, time management will benefit you students. And I'm very sure you're clear with the paper pattern, the weightage of the chapters and the time management. So this is what I have for you in this module. Keep working students, you can do it. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, rise and shine.